cool welcome back to my channel today's video i got this super deep side part with this beautiful 13 by 4 all around wig from yolissa hair thank you to yolissa hair for sponsoring today's video and sending me this unit you see this do, do you see me like I showed you guys all the way from installation all the way to touching up when it's time to like, you know, get it ready to be worn again. And also I showed you how I sleep in my wigs and, you know, everything in between. So if you're interested in that and you want to see how I maintain and, you know, a day in my wig, a night in my wig, stay tuned and keep watching. All I gotta say is, Mwah! and you already know who it is. So, upon further reflection, I realized that the better way to make sure my wigs are evenly cut and, you know, blunt the way I like them is to just cut them on a mannequin head. You know, did I do it perfectly this time? No. But do I have faith in the future that I will do it better than this? Yes. Because it's kind of messed up and I didn't realize because I was trying to not be in the camera. And my robe has no, like, tie on it. So I was just trying not to expose myself. But it looks pretty good and healthy. I like a nice blunt cut at the ends because it just makes the hair just look a lot more healthy. So I just take a few inches off the hair for that. But here's the plucking and bleach job I did on the unit. I'm really proud of myself. And here is the all-around 13 by 4 that I was talking about in the beginning. Threw that bad boy on. And now it's time to get to installing. But, you know, I just got to say it is about 11 o'clock at the time of this clip. Because I was just like, I don't want to do my hair tomorrow. You know, I just want to do my hair tonight and just wake up and touch it up for what I got to do tomorrow. So that was the plan. Well, not wake up because, you know, I had all day. But I just didn't want to do it, like, before I leave, you know. I just wanted to have it already on. So that's what I did. I just, you know, wash my face. And, you know, this is me, you know, get ready to go to bed. And I gotta, I'm lying. I actually went out and did something after this. I think my plan was to go to bed. But then I was like, actually, I'm about to go do something with my friend. So it was, like, convenient that I would be alone. So what I'm saying is, basically, I'm about to go to bed. And I'll show you guys how I will put my wigs up and, you know, go to sleep and make sure that they're good to go the next day and the next day and the next day and the next day. I think I can go a good three days with the glue wig on. But personally, I like to take them off because they're so easy to reapply. And I can also show you guys that version of it if you would like me to. Just let me know. Here I am just putting a little bit of that tinted spray on the lace after I cut my ear tabs out. And I already do have one layer of the even spray on. So there's my second layer for that section. And I do have this wig cap on, but I will take it off because I don't like the way it looks under my wigs. But I also don't want my hair to get, you know, unruly underneath the wig as I'm applying. So I just leave it there in the meantime. And now I'm just pushing the lace into the spray and using my blow dryer to seal it in. Then I'll go ahead and do my next section. We'll speed through this because, you know, at this point, it's, it's wash, runs, repeat. You know, do the same three steps over and over again. I'm going to spray. Don't forget it's tacky. Sing some Beyonce a little bit. You know, tacky it down. <laughs> And once this section seems dry enough, you know, it don't got to be fully dry because it is going to go under the elastic band. Now, most wig companies do send you an elastic band. This elastic band was sent to me from a different company, but most companies do send your own. And it's the time you end up really sealing your wig. But here I am listening to some more Renaissance because Beyonce has not left my head since it came out. And I just really, and I miss the days before Renaissance, honestly. <laughs> Once I let that sit for a little long periodically time, I go ahead and take it off. And now, second part, getting the lace situated, razoring it off, you know, taking off the excess lace, and then using the spatula spray technique I be using to, you know, secure the lace. And I just, you know, charge the. Oop, is my doing again? Yep, is it gonna stay? Yes. I can't get through. Oh my gosh, should I go? Should I go? Should I go left? Should I go right? What am I gonna do? This is just a testament to how nice this hair was to me. It was really just flowing. I, at this point, I hadn't even put any silk in it. It's just it how it, it is, you know, just flat iron. This is a body wave. I just flat ironed it, and it's the, the way it's flowing. Like, it's really beautiful. I know y'all see the way I flung my hair just now. I'm just doing a little step-by-step, -step, razoring off, 
you know, adding spray to the spatula, spatula to, to lace, blow dryer on cold. And yeah, at this point, I'm really feeling it. I really enjoy like always seeing it come together because you know this is like my craft, low key, not low key. Like this is what I be, I be doing this, and it's always really nice to just see everything come together and just look really good and natural looking. At this point, I saw my wig cap on. I like to just you know finish off the the glue process before I remove the wig cap. So at that point, my edges and stuff like are tucked away and safe. But now I'm just getting my side part started. You know, just before I put on my elastic band again for that final seal after I got all the excess lace and, you know, my spray, spray it on. Just, you know, pull out the baby hairs, secure that elastic band. And, yeah, I said, woo! It was really looking good. I was really pleased. Um, it, was, it was like, I gotta go show somebody my hair, actually. I can't just go to bed. I gotta let somebody see what I got going on. And plus, this bare face was killer. I don't got, I got, I mean, I do got a little makeup on because, you know, I'm on camera, but, you know, it's not a lot of makeup. It's just a little spot coverage for to look good for the camera, but my skin has really been doing its thing, and I'm really thankful. So, shout out to the skin, you know, couldn't, wouldn't be here without you. Um, anyway, parting. You know, if, the, if I really showed you guys the clips of me doing these touch-ups I'll be doing, it would be, the videos would be super long. I just really be in my zone. Like I said, it was nighttime, and I was just, like, trying to get this done. So I was just like really into it. Beyonce was playing. It's really nice to be here at night, actually. And here's me like really look at that plucking job I did. It just looks so good. Spray a little Sebastian Shaper Plus before I get to doing these edges. I just want a light edge that would be easy to you know redo the next day because you know when you do these these dramatic baby hairs, you do have to expect that you're gonna have to redo them the next day. I've never really show you guys how I do that, so it's kind of like a first time for me, but. Um, you can anticipate that you're going to have to do them up every day. Every time you do your hair, you're going to have to touch up your edges. It's just kind of like doing your real hair. Like it just seems like something you're going to have to do. So I'm just making sure that it's something I can touch up the next day without it being too, you know, stuck. If you know what I mean. Sometimes your edges can be a little hard and not too movable. So I have to make sure that they were available to be, you know, molded tomorrow. Then I went ahead and attached that sideburn, pulled out some hairs. Um, after I, t I felt myself a little bit and just hot comb that down and then we're gonna repeat those same steps a little bit of edge booster is what I use to slick it down a little bit I am cutting this at an angle because I don't like straight across baby hair it's just not my vibe curling it with my bed head um, flat iron if you want to know where I got this flat iron from you can go ahead and check the description box I do have a, a affiliate link for everything used in this video and I am so glad I finally have some grip gel. Grip gel's been sold out in most hair stores. That's why I always suggest you guys, you guys check out the links in my description box because sometimes your the product you want isn't really in store. So I'm so glad I finally can get um, some grip gel because I just didn't want to order it online. But whenever you can't find something online, be sure to check for it online. I mean, in store, I mean. If you can't find it in store, check for it online. A little bit of silk on top. This is the first time I've added silk this whole time. And yeah, do you see this luster on this hair? Like, I love a good side part. My 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 skin, I have, I have very little makeup on. I can't lie, I don't have no makeup on. But, yeah, here's me that night Um, after I came back from getting drinks. I look like I had a few drinks, don't I? Yeah, yeah. It looked like it's late as fuck, don't it? Yeah. Um, Go ahead and brush that, that hair out. And this is how I go ahead and get my units secure for the nighttime. I brush my hair out and I get it out of my face so I can go ahead and put that edge scarf. Whatever scarf you got that's long and skinny, so you put along the uh, perimeter of your hairline. Personally, I cannot have my ears covered up. I need to pull my ears out, and I can't have this too tight. I'm real particular about this. I barely like wearing scarves to bed. The scarf can't be too tight, so I loosen it up a little bit with, so it can still be tight enough to stay, but you know, not tight enough to give me a headache. And then I also pull my ears out, so I know I'm going to have to re-stick down these ear tab areas tomorrow but you know it's to be expected because that's just how I sleep and then I just throw the bonnet on just pull the hair up you'll flat iron it again tomorrow when you do it again it's going to be okay just you know put it in a bonnet and at this point I just cross my fingers and pray to God it stays and I'm gonna do a little sleepy time <laughs> and then that's me the next day before my little thing I was gonna see a burlesque show it was really not what I expected but you know, that's something for another day. This is what it looks like after I took a shower and I did my makeup. So at this point, the scarf is kind of sticking. 
so it's a little lifting in the front but that's okay because we will be touching this up and i i really do enjoy what i'll talk about this in a second <laughs> please remind me to talk about this in a second okay after i do, I'll talk about this brushing this out you know it still looks so good this is after a full night of me like having to take my scarf my bonnet falling off and me putting it back on and like me not brushing it all night it just looks so good and at this point i'm combing my edges out so i can redo them like i said the front was able available for me to just comb through and just redo them again and i will be also pulling out some more edges because i will be you know wearing my hair somewhere nice <laughs> so just i seen that the front part was lifted so i just was like okay let me just get this together spray a little bit of the spray on the spatula I keep on the spatula oh no that's all i'll call it and just put that along the edges of it i really enjoy this method because it it you know saves for product build up when you have so much product on your hair it just it just it just gets to show in itself you know it's not fun as as i said before my ear tabs were going to lift up because that's how i sleep and i knew i was going to have to come down again so that's what i'm doing now getting that tacky before i just stick that on down like normal and it just looks like it did before once that's tacky enough i'll stick it back down and at this point i'm going to use my comb to just you know comb through the excess product from yes from last night and get it prepped for me to redo now Elastic band time. Elastic band be your best friend at times like this. To so just re-melt everything like new. You know, touch-ups. Get that, you know, wig really flat. I'm not going to play with you about a flat wig. I need it. Take that elastic band off. It's given brand new install. It's given I just, you know, put this wig on today. Pulled out some more edges. I'm going to do my baby hair really fast because I just showed you guys how to do my baby hair. But I am doing it on this side after everything. And yeah, let's just go through this really quickly. And I'll be back when I have something important to say. And like I said before, it's okay that your hair is a little wavy now because we will go through and flat iron it using the chase method, come in the front, flat iron in the back, high temperature. I'm talking about 450. Let's let's get that hair silk, sleek, straight. We need it bone straight. Going through, going through, flat ironing, flat ironing, probably listening to Beyonce. Don't know if I am, but I probably am. I paid that woman's rent this month with my streams, so... You know, I knew she was, you know, in dire need. The eviction notice was at the door when Beyonce was at the studio and they came Renaissance. And I understand that she fully needed that check. And I hope she received it. But um, at this point, I'm really feeling myself. I really enjoyed the side part. My beat, my face was beat. My beat was beaten. And I knew I was going to look so good. I put on a little corset for, for the bat burlesque show. I was really feeling that. But, okay, I guess I'm still going this hair. Move on, Julia. Okay. Well, you look good. Um, brown liner actually you guys always ask like what what's the lip combo it's a variation of different brown lip liners sometimes they're cool brown sometimes they're dark brown this time it's a light brown and then it's always a new pink lip that's it you know it changes on the mood but this time i really wanted a, a light pink lip and yeah i'm gonna let it speak for us i'm looking very good I mean, wow. Shout out to Yolissa Hair for the unit. It was very beautiful. I'm glad I got to use it. And let's let real time Julia talk about it. So that's the video. Clearly I'm feeling myself. Um, I'm really in love with this unit. I plugged it to perfection. And it's giving my hair. Like this is my hair. There's just no words actually. So yeah, I look good. I'm running late. I gotta go. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, be sure to give it a like, give it a comment, share it with your best friend, and I'll see my next one. Bye, beautiful.